What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are racing Formula 1 drivers. I was lucky enough yesterday to get invited to F1 and Gfinity's event Challenge Williams, uh, an event where the two Williams guys are technically going up against each other, they're going up against members of the public, they're going up against YouTubers and streamers, but they're also going up against Lando who set the benchmark last event um, by accumulating a set number of points. Um, so there were three races. I was in the second one, so too was Arav and uh, a few other racing drivers. And uh, yeah, we had a 25% race around Silverstone. Now, the challenge for the Williams F1 drivers was um, yeah, here up on your screen. They have to uh, meet all of these parameters to get points and if they accrue those points, they are uh, gonna try and beat Lando, I guess. But uh, it is my job, it's Arab's job, everyone else's job to try and keep them at bay. I want to do well for myself by racing around the British Grand Prix. So uh, let's waste no further time and get into it. Here is your grid. Uh, some brilliant names uh, in, uh, in the world of content creators and streamers there. Ben Daly. With but in one of these challenges, it's a different world. So I think he's going to be... He's going to be in the mix there with Arav. I, I think Arav is going to be a front runner. <laughs> oh no. I tell you what, that was my genuine reaction when I saw that. But uh, anyway, here we are for Silverstone. F1 drivers versus YouTubers versus other racing drivers and well this is probably going to end up in carnage. We're at the British Grand Prix here in Silverstone. Not my favourite track in the world on the F1 games uh, simply because it's it's flat out for a lot of the lap and it's actually quite hard to make up a lot of time. Uh, the field can be quite close but from a racing standpoint that could be pretty good. I'm starting on the mediums and I'm switching to the softs because I've been placed at the back of the grid. This is a custom grid. The only people behind me are the two Williams drivers. So this is uh, going to be pretty fraught for me off the start. I'm going to have to get a, a good launch here on the harder tyre. Five red lights and away we go for the British Grand Prix against the Williams drivers. A bit of wheel spin in second and third gear. My start's letting me down once again and we get swamped by Nicholas Latifi and George Russell in the turn one. I think someone spun off in the Williams. I think that was Cyanide. We uh, get past him, and uh, yeah, it's a bit uh, argy-bargy in the opening sector of the British Grand Prix. In the Ferrari, we have Beat Vissa, Betsky Visca. I'm so sorry if I don't pronounce your name correctly. She's a, a W Series driver, and we're trying to get the better over her as we go around the outside into the middle sector. And again, oh, that's just a closing gap, and that's very unfortunate. We're getting dragged around the corner as if... We're not even there. That reminds me of older F1 games. Oh, that was very weird. It was like my car was making no effect on the Ferrari. I just got kind of compromised into that position and that was very awkward. But uh, anyway, frustrating start. We are hoping to uh, have a charge towards the end of the Grand Prix. We're going to do the undercut on a lot of the uh, guys on soft compound tyres. Okay, and uh, we'll place. see how we go. But it's we're currently on. getting bottled up here a little bit as we... Have a nice run on the hangar straight. We're going to go around the outside into Stowe. And we're going to see if we can make this work. We've got a Ferrari spinning out. That's Ian Poulter. We get past him. Visser is still squeezing us off the circuit here. We dive bomb her. And then we make contact with George Russell at the hairpin at club. And now Visser has got back through again. I can't get rid of this lady. <laughs> we're approaching the pit window. You'll be oh. Man, we're not we're getting the raw end of traffic here, I, I suppose. I just want to get in the train of uh, those guys ahead, get in the slipstream, get in the DRS, and uh, yeah, make an impact on this Grand Prix. We just, again, have to uh, make our way past the Ferrari and then go from there. There is no DRS on this second lap. We're going to have to grind away and see if we can make the move stick. We're not quite close enough, so I didn't stick it up into rich mixture. We'll see if we can get a nice run out of the left and right hander and uh, trying to get on power as early as we can. Vissa uh, dips a, a wheel into the gravel and 
that's the opportunity that I need. Up in a P6 now. George Russell, thankfully, is still the next car up the road. Nicholas Latifi, right in front of him. They're getting bottled up behind uh, Arava and someone else in a Red Bull, I believe. For some reason, I don't know who... Oh, it's Thibaut Courtois. How could I forget? So Thibaut Courtois, the uh, Real Madrid goalkeeper is uh, fighting away with the two Williams drivers. I'm doing my best now to uh, close them in. We're approaching my pit lap, which I believe is lap four, and uh, we're going to run the softs to the end of the race. The, the softs should be able to do the entirety of this race pretty easily, and so that's why we're switching on to it at the earliest opportunity. Vissa is now coming back at me, so she's found a bit of rhythm, a bit of pace. She's in my slipstream now, and DRS, so might be one to watch over the next lap or so, but we are closing in on Tebow, and we're going to see if we can uh, nab a bit of his DRS. We do do that, and uh, this is going to put me in striking distance, hopefully, of the Williams guys as we approach my uh, pit stop. But uh, yeah, we've got Arrow fighting those guys. Hopefully, they can continue to squabble, continue to fall into my clutches. Despite the, the bad start that I've had, we're still in the mix, uh, which is, which is quite good. It's starting to unfold quite well for us here, especially as we head on to the soft compound tire. We're going to be in striking distance of the big boys. But up front, we have Bart Horston. He is a Formula 3 driver, and he hails from Australia. So I'll be, uh, I'll be keeping an eye on his career with uh, keen interest, as a young helper team would say. But anyway, we get a nice run on Thibaut Courtois on the back straight, and that promotes us up at a P5. It's kind of a pointless overtake, because I'm diving it into the pit lane now at the end of this lap. We're also catching up to Arab, so that's a good opportunity for me to, say, peace out on that battle. And uh, into the lane we go. Very easy to uh, get done for speeding. Uh, just ask Fabrizio Donosio. Donosio? Just ask for him to... For God's sake. Fabrizio Donoso. Ask him about it. He knows all about it. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Out of the pit lane we go. Soft compound tires. And we are set to unleash in this British Grand Prix. I'm the only person who started on mediums. And uh, I should be the fastest car on circuit charging towards... Uh, who knows, my fellow countryman Bart, he does have a big lead, uh, but hopefully those Williams drivers at a minimum. But anyway, it's been a decent outlap, you can see, uh, I haven't really saved fuel, I have eased into it, standard and rich mixture, haven't made any mistakes, so it's been a pretty decent uh, outlap, you would have to say, and now this is my first flying lap, I'm actually red on the first sector, it's kind of weird, I don't really know why, am I rusty at the F1 game? Um... Is, is the soft not really having as big of an impact as what I thought it would? Silverson is a weird circuit now. There's so much downforce in these F1 cars that you're pretty much flat out the whole way around. Um, so it really just comes down to having a lot of fuel to burn and uh, ERS to play with. ERS being on auto, so we don't have any control over that. But we got the inside of Cyanide, who hasn't made a stop yet. So he is by far, I think, the back marker of this race. We get past him, and now we have Arab up next. And... You can see that the undercut really hasn't worked for us. It's it's given us maybe half a second's game, but I really would have hoped I would have gained more out of that, considering my pit stop was really good. But anyway, to the outside we go on Arab. He gives us... Well, we... Oh, uh, a bit sloppy there. Speaking of sloppy, we make contact with his side pod. And we are... Out. Of the running of challenging the Williams F1 drivers. That was really annoying. I was so mad at that incident. Here's the replay. I just uh, have a little go at Arab here. He did make the first initial contact. He dragged himself a little bit wide, touched me, and then I think the second part was definitely on me. Bit of a racing incident, and then that was it, really. Five seconds down the drain. But anyway, we got to get on with it. There's no point in sulking about it. Let's uh, go on a bit of a charge again. Let's uh, keep pushing because you never know what might happen later on in the race. Uh, let's hope that the race leaders all tangle up with each other and then we can go from there. Again, we're making our way past Cyanide who still hasn't made a pit stop. I don't know if he's... Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, can I get through, please? This has been a messy race. And, uh, I don't know, I kind of want to level with you guys. I feel like lately, 
my skill level, my approach to the game, it's gone a bit soft. It's gone a bit casual. I, now there's Arav right behind a Williams F1 driver, so that, that's great. We could have been there or in, in further in front if we would have just overtaken him cleanly. I, I think uh, we're... I think I need to take F1 a bit more seriously. So what I'm proposing is doing a league race again, or a league racing series. I just feel like I need to sharpen the skills a little bit, because I feel like, yeah, in a, in a couple of areas, things have gotten a little bit soft for me. Um, you know, doing these championships with default setups, with uh, now auto ERS, I feel like we're just kind of losing that feel we had with the F1 game. So I feel like uh, league racing is kind of what I need. So let me know on that. But uh, here we're deciding to undo the time that we lost uh, with the auto spin thing. It's a casual race, so I thought, why the hell not? We get past Arab, and now um, everything is normal again. But turn one... <laughs> I don't know what... Oh, I just don't know. Watch Arab's POV. Look at this. How is he done? Have you just cut the corner? What have you just done, Ben? Oh. All right. I'll be honest. What I did wasn't uh, wasn't great, but uh, my aim here was to pull Arab along and give him slipstream and DRS, and then we both catch up to the F1 drivers. But then I never, in a million years, thought that he would go for this gap. Um, that's just. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's never gonna end well oh. at turn one, and uh, yeah, Arab is is gone. So we we both made some silly decisions in racecraft today. Uh, I think we can both fully hold our hands up high with that one. But um, yeah, a bit of a scuffed race, isn't it? I do apologise to Arab. I do apologise to you guys for uh, yeah, like I said, some silly moves, some silly decision making on my part. Again, Silverstone, hard to make up the difference. You can see now we've got some clear air and we're trying to close in on George Russell. He's actually in the slipstream and DRS of his teammate, Nicholas Latifi. And you might notice I am out of fuel. Um, I got past Arab and, and then I was like, oh crap, I don't have any fuel to push with. This was the, the same problem I had in squad sprint is uh, you need lots of fuel to be fast at Silverstone. I even added to the fuel tank at the start of this race, but still we don't have enough. Silverstone is like, I don't know, I, I want to say like 80% of the lap is spent at full throttle, and if you don't have fuel to use, you got nothing. Auto ERS, absolutely hate it, I want to use manual, but we can't, it's a gentleman's agreement, and so that was another area of pace that I could have utilized, but, but can't because of the rules, and so uh, it's been a frustrating race. <laughs> Thank you, F1, for inviting me. <laughs> no, it, it has been fun, but uh, I'm not happy with my performance today. We come across the line, and at the end of the day, it's going to be P5. We did get a 10-second time penalty for cutting the final two corners. So classic TMA Marduk is coming out with a vengeance, bigger and better than ever, it, it seems, with uh, the big boy corner cut. But... We have the Australian, we still have an Australian winning the race, so um, at least we have that going for us. That is uh, absolutely awesome. But there we can see the full results of the race. In the end, both the Williams drivers and Thibaut Courtois getting five second time penalties for speeding in the pit lane. So if I didn't clash with Arav, I no matter what, probably would have beaten the drivers uh, by the count back of penalties. So, that's a frustrating one. If there's another one, or if I get invited to future events, I'm going to practice more. I did about, I don't know, how much? 10 minutes practice before this? So, it was a casual event. It was a bit of fun. Uh, I'll leave a link to the uh, official stream that F1 had on their YouTube, so you guys can watch it in the broadcast style and see how we got on, but... Um, yeah, that's it from me. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I'm not sure why you would leave a like. I don't think I deserved it in this video. <laughs> I'm really not doing myself any favors here. I should probably shut up. Subscribe to the channel if you need to see plenty more racing game content. 
And uh, let me know what you think about the idea of returning to league racing, whether it be on a temporary or more of a full-time basis. If you run a league, can I join for a one-off race at the very least? I will slide into some DMs and I'll see what I can muster. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Always a pleasure to uh, race against racing drivers, especially to race against Formula One drivers. I definitely do not take it for granted. And I think that probably showed in the desperation of my moves today in trying to get close to them. But in the end, uh, the strategy didn't pay off. My decision making didn't pay off. Overall, it just was uh, a bit of a nightmare. But next time, we will get the job done. We will sweat all day and all night until the track is covered in so much liquid that the wet tires have to come out. What am I even saying anymore? Goodbye, everybody. Just now.